had a chance to go to the loo while that song was playing. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, I'm laughing because I, you know, it's like, I know the story. I know what's coming up and it's just, it's, it's, it's just so funny. It's so it's funny. So it, funny. So, so please, please go ahead. Please share the story with our listeners. Well, first off, let's look at the toilet in question here. Cause, uh, <laughs> Man, did it come straight out of Trump Tower? Like, where where did this toilet come from? I want to know. I think this is more popular than... Because this isn't the first 18-carat toilet I've seen. But <laughs> four men four men have been charged with the theft of a solid gold toilet valued at about one and a quarter million dollars. Holy crap! I want the, I, that toilet is more than a house in my city? Damn! Yeah, they say officials list the current value. I guess the value has gone up. It's a uh, 5.93 million. Is, uh, wow. I mean, what's the difference in that price? It's like, well, tell me about your toilet, sir. Tell me about your your lost toilet. So well, you like know, it's valued at a million and a quarter, but I could get 5.9 easy. Oh man. So, okay, so okay, I'm looking at this story now and it was taken from Blenheim Palace, which I guess is where Winston Churchill was born. Um, and it's been missing since since before COVID. Wow, since 2019. So, oh, I guess gold prices rose a lot in, in that time. Oh, wow. that's why. I that's understand now. Easy. Yeah, gold went way up. Yeah, but man, that's nuts. So, wait. So you're telling you're also telling me that this this toilet, this gold toilet, was also displayed at the Guggenheim Museum is in New York. Wow. Yeah, yeah, but as part <laughs> oh, of oh man, America, that place has really gone down the toilet. And <laughs> eh, 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 dad joke. Okay. Well, anyway, listen, these four dudes. I mean, they're British. I would assume. <laughs> Blenheim Palace sounds like it's over there, you know. And oh man, I'm just I'm imagining the crew from the movie Snatched. They're the ones that are stealing the toilet. I was gonna say they have to be good plumbers, but when they it was fully functional when they ripped it off and it caused significant damage and flooding. So wait, just, oh wait, wait! It wasn't just an art piece; it was a fully functional toilet as well. Wow, that's even better. No, they just <laughs> loaned it to the um, Guggenheim as an exhibit, oh, and then put it back and plugged it back in. You know? Oh wow! Oh but man! Well, you know guys, what, dude? These four I guys would steal. Are... I would steal a six million dollar toilet too. Oh man! I'm telling you. I just wonder you. what the conversation is like because these four guys that are supposed to go to court, like right around thanks, right after Thanksgiving. In Oxford Magistrates Court, does that even count? You know, so high and proper. But they're all about our age, dude. And it's like, how did they concoct this criminal heist? You know? Oh, you I know the how. Keys. They're like, they get they get home from the wharf where they've been working for twelve hours, unloading you know cargo from a ship, and after they're and while they're drinking beer at a bar, bitching about the fact like, oh man. What a terrible day at the wolf that was, mates. Ah, ah, freaking hate this job. Why? Ah, you know, oh, there's a gold toilet over at that palace. Why don't we just steal that? And everyone's like, oh, gold toilet, you say? That's exactly how it happened. You really think so? I don't know. I don't know. I have my <laughs> doubts on that. I, it is very, like, poetic. You know, if these guys have to do jail time, I think you, you're going to have to do jail time. If you oh, they're going to have to do jail person. time. This is like, a, this is a big theft. Yeah. It's not like feel, stealing somebody's toilet, but you know, I'm, but it really is like stealing somebody's <laughs> toilet, you know, because that's what you, what are you in for? Oh, I stole, stole a toilet. A golden toilet. A golden toilet. Like, are they going to be well, kings in prison? Well, no, but see, their, their main mistake was not immediately melting it down and turning it into gold bricks and trying to sell it to somebody that was oh, their major mistake that was their major mistake <laughs> yeah not stealing it it looks because they got away and they got away for they got away with it for years apparently 
Oh, for years? Oh, it's yeah. Bad. So they just part. got, they just recently got caught. So why, did, why are you literally sitting on a gold toilet? Just melt that down and sell it and make all the money. Go live in the Cayman Islands or something where there's no extradition and no one cares. Why am I giving people all of these criminal no, listen, conspiracy ideas? Smart and these people are not smart. Listen, they went and stole a toilet. Nobody was a plumber. You know, nobody, oh. thought, nobody thought to turn off the water before you jump in. Come there on, guys. Off, you know, there's YouTube videos. You can learn anything you about plumbing somebody, in there. You, you think they got the wherewithal to find a smelter? They can't even find a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay true true it's probably okay sitting in somebody's basement right and somebody snitched somebody got a little too drunk at the pub and was like i didn't tell you what we did before and then i know because they were did. probably they were probably they had the toilet they you figured it out they that. had it hidden you gonna sell it and then the, yeah then that's what that's exactly what happened they were like okay now how do we sell it <laughs> so that's and that's my point just man just you got to melt that down, at least chop it up and try to, like, take it to, the, like, the gold exchange in Ventura or something. No. And get, like, 50 cents on the dollar for it. Some, something. Oh, Jeez. I love it. 